The Biden administration is setting new regulations on the amount of forever chemicals that can be found in our drinking water. This new standard will require water utilities to filter out five of the forever chemicals, also called PFAs. Right now, those are found in half of the drinking water in our country. So joining me this morning to share why PFA chemicals are so dangerous is Chief Health Officer for Healthline, Dr. Jenny Yu. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Yeah, so talk first for those of us. This happened five days ago, but can you tell us a little bit about this ruling and what it means for drinking water, our supply and utilities? Yeah, this is the first time that we're having a federal ban around um, the amount of PFAs or forever chemicals that are allowed in our water system. Um, 22 states already have this in terms of limiting the PFAs are, um, you know, four in um, trillion um, per parts. The reason for that is there's just ever so um, much more compelling um, science and evidence to show that um, the PFAs can have uh, long-term uh, effects um, over certain organ functions, and the uh, chronic exposure of it um, can, um, you know, cause a lot of health problems. And um, and therefore, the federal ban uh, to then save sort of a hundred million um, people who currently um, don't have um, in, live in states that don't have these uh, in place. I feel like I should know this already, but does Texas already have these in place? Um, I don't, I actually don't know that. Oh gosh, we will find out and we will tell people. Uh, but tell me first, while we're getting that information, where do these PFAs come from? Because a lot of times people hear, oh, naturally occurring, then it, how could it hurt you? Yeah, these are, um, you know, sort of man-made synthetic chemicals that's been around since the 40s. And it's used to uh, create a coating that um, helps to resist either oil or grease um, and water. So they're used in a lot of, um, you know, everyday household uh, cooking ware. Um, it's sort of all around us at this point in terms of uh, coating on clothing. Um, so those are the uh, reason for why um, this chemical is around. Yeah. I know we um, we're talking about water um, water supply, but parts of this same regulation and ruling limits it in other things like our you know cookware type thing or like the Tupperware things we've heard about things that f food containers, right? Um, yes. Do you or are, are some of these the chemicals that we hear about a lot of times the BPA or can you tell me about some of these five? Yeah, so um, so they're all a little bit different, but all these chemicals, uh, you know, uh, over time, the accumulation of it in our um, body can cause uh, whether it's hormone disruption or um, the normal function of how you know liver processes. Um, you know, fat or um, toxin. So all of those things uh, then over time um, add up to in terms of the physiology mm -hmm. uh, of our organ function. And, you know, we're starting to uh, realize more. There are studies around um, that in animals and how it really then one on like one to one translate to humans um, still to be seen. But, you know, according to the CDC, there's a lot of compelling um, evidence now that long term exposure and high doses of exposure. So you can imagine over um, the cumulative effect of someone's entire life um, can then cause uh, various um, organ function issues. And so um, that's why there's more attention being yeah. paid to that now. And um, and that's why the EPA um, came out with this federal ban um, several days ago. So, so if somebody buys or has their own filtration system at home, I mean, even if it's a whole house filter, if it's as simple as a Brita water, Brita water filter, would that filter out these forever chemicals? Yeah, so you have to look for water water filters, whether a whole house, uh, in terms of um, reverse osmosis. And so um, there are certain uh, standards in which water filters uh, will filter out some of these nanoparticles. And so it's important to, um, you know, do the research behind uh, as to what uh, water filters can be helpful. Um, and then should people get checked out if they're worried? I mean, you know, these could be things that people have been drinking for forever if you drink from the tap or, I mean, but is there even any way to go to my doctor and say, hey, I wanna be checked for forever chemicals? 
Yeah, I would say that, um, again, the correlation isn't one-to-one -one there. And so I think um, at this point, it's really just having awareness um, and sort of paying attention to um, all of the things that you're um, ingesting, whether looking at cookware, uh, whether, um, you know, using more water bottles rather than the plastic water bottles. So I think overall, this awareness um, is important. Um, however, I, I would say that, you know, reassurance-wise, I don't know that, you you know, you can go to a doctor right now uh -huh. and say, hey, look at forever chemicals. We're not at that level in terms of, um, you know, saying that there is a one to one cause and mm -hmm. effect relationship. Um, it's the additive effect of those chemicals then over time um, with other things in terms of lifestyle and, um, you know, genetic that then could cause more problems. So unless you live in an area where, um, you know, the um, amounts are high, and of course, then you would get a warning um, from uh, your state government, I, I would say that there's not a one-to-one -one cause and effect relationship and just want to reassure the audience on that. All right, Helpline's Dr. Jenny Yu, thank you so much for breaking all that down for us. I'm gonna go look out right now and see if we already have those regulations so I can let people know. Have a great day. You too.